Okay, we're back at the AWS Management Console, and what we're gonna do is demo how to get data into S3, how to synchronize it, and how to move it back and forth. Really, S3 is a workhorse for doing operations, especially if, let's say, you're a data scientist, a data engineer, working in a data science program, or just need to do something with a lot of data, it's important to know how to use S3. So to start with, let's go over to S3, and we'll just type in the word S3 here. There we go. Step one, we need to create a new bucket. And, and again, remember that these buckets have unique names. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say um, a weird name here. So we'll say um, big uh, blue website name one, two, three, four, just for the sake of this demo. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that in uh, text editor so I can get it later. And then I'm gonna go through here and just uh, leave everything by default. Great, that looks good. And in this case, I don't wanna do a website, so I'm gonna leave everything private. So that way no one can access it except for my account. So now that I've got that, I've got this uh, big blue website name uh, bucket here, how do I get data in there? Well, one of the ways I can do it is just uploading it, literally. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna upload a file, uh, just some random file. Here we go, NBA endorsement data. Uh, that looks like a good file to put in there. Great, I've uploaded that. Next here, I'm gonna leave everything uh, by default because I don't want anyone to have access and I'll leave it as a standard um, uh, piece of data. So this will have, be available in multiple availability zones and I don't, I don't have to uh, change anything. So let's go ahead and upload that and immediately you can see now I have access to it. So that's one of the really powerful things about S3 is it's an infinite storage system. This could be deep learning training data, it could be SQL files, it could be you know customer data, it could be whatever it is you need. We've got it pretty easy to set up. Now, how do I connect to that and move things around? And again, this is an infinite storage machine. So how do I get more data in there? Well, to do that, I'm gonna again go to Cloud9 environment and in Cloud9, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, use a command to synchronize that data locally. So I'm gonna type in AWS S3 sync, and then I'm gonna put in the name of that bucket. So it's gonna be S3, and the name of that bucket that was created was big blue website name 1234. And what I can do here is just do dot and um, but actually, before I do that, why don't I create a directory and we'll call it, make this directory um, uh, files here. I'll cd into this files directory and you can see it's been created right there. And then uh, I can go through and run that command. And you, you notice how I put a hashtag right there. That's a good way to save a command so you can use it again. And then I'll use dot. And what this does is it puts it in my current working directory. There we go. And you can see that that file is already been loaded there. And in fact, I can now inspect it inside of this Cloud9 environment. You can see that it's got some uh, CSV data inside. So how would I get data back and forth and you know work on things? Well, pretty, pretty easy. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually make another copy of this file here. Let's go through here and, and we'll, we'll, we'll make this, uh, we'll make maybe, uh, there's an, one file, let's make uh, two files here. Great, now I've got a couple files. Well, uh, this could be gigabytes of data or terabytes of data back and forth, depending on what uh, machine I'm on. To get it back over there, I just run that same sync command. And what this does is it's gonna now uh, make sure that that bucket has all of the latest data. There we go. And so that's a one-way sync, but what if I wanna sync it the other direction? So all I, all I gotta do is just swap these two things Let's sync it the other way. So let's sync what's in this current working directory to that directory. There we go. And you can see it's very quick. It's been able to upload those new files. And if I do a ref refresh here, we've got these two new files in there. So really powerful workflow to create buckets, put things in there, upload them by hand, then open up Cloud9, use the command line tools, and you can get access to that those files and go back and forth using the sync command. Very, very powerful workflow, especially if you work heavily with data.